Well, Tom and, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, good morning, uh, one and all. When I walked in and the music was uh, going, I thought I was back in Austin, where I was last week. But I think being here this morning and being here on the site of the former government uh, entertainment complex and what's being announced today really just reinforces the same message that was reinforced with me. And it was something that I um, you know, had in my heart as somebody who is uh, a city builder at heart and somebody who ran for mayor for that reason before I left and, and even more so uh, when I came back. And I see a couple of people that I was there in Austin with, uh, Michael uh, Warren from our music office, Michael Hollett uh, from North by Northeast, uh, and all the good work that they're doing, one in the city hall and one uh, in the community to build our music. But, you know, what you figure out uh, after a period of time, and I think all the people that are in this room or in this tent uh, understand that. I should say, by the way, that I was introduced last week when I came in here this morning. I felt like I was back in Austin in another respect because it was my first introduction to live hip hop. Uh, the only people that were more surprised, the only person that was more surprised than the artist to see me out seeing our Toronto hip hop artist performing in Austin was me, and I was surprised to be there. But I saw amazingly talented artists, so proud that they're from Toronto, so uh, proud of how well they entertained the crowd down there who are largely not Canadians. Um, and it's something that just tells you the depth and all the different aspects of talent we have. But what you saw there was a connection that we've understood here before, but I think you have to sometimes go somewhere else to understand it completely and to reinforce your own view, that it is going to take precisely this kind of, of, of mixing together of the creative arts and of uh, development, of education, of places to live and places to work in one place to keep the city great. And beyond what it will do on this particular site for all the different people involved, it is going to send a message to the rest of the world about what Toronto is. Toronto is a place that gets the fact that education is related to the arts, which is related to business and to innovation, and that it all fits together in packaging a city that is special. I believe that when you see all these lists that talk about why Toronto um, is such a livable place and so on, that they'll always list different things that are kind of hard you know, assets or, or aspects that are a, 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 a sort of harder part of how you would describe the physical aspects of a city. I think that the world is figuring out that we get, and not perfectly, my friend Chris Hume is somewhere and he'll say, well, if you believe all that, John, then how come you're caring about what cars do and so forth? Well, you know, the fact of the matter is people, some people will continue to get around in cars and trucks in the city and have to do so to keep commerce moving and so on. And I try to take a balanced approach to these things and say, yes, we have to make sure people can still do that and we can still get the traffic moving. You've seen me paying some attention to that. But what I'm trying to do with the help of Waterfront Corporation and their leadership and the help of people like Daniels, and I'll come back and say a word about that in a minute, and Artscape and North by Northeast and all the different places, is to build that kind of a city that has all of the right stuff. And I think that's what the world sees that has us so high on the list. It's how we've chosen to live together. And we're not yet doing it perfectly. We probably never will because we're human beings. But in the end, I think people see that we get it. You know, that it's more than about what a particular building looks like or, or anything like that. It's about putting it all together. And I want to just say that beyond the good work that is done by Waterfront Toronto and public organizations like that, it's, I don't go to every project that is being opened or initiated in the city because, uh, first of all, I don't have time, and, and secondly, I, I just don't. But I wanted to be here today because it is such a special mix of a place where people will live and work and play and study and care. Because, again, organizations like Artscape and Remix and so on are going to be having a home here to help uh, people who perhaps need a little bit of a hand up. And that's an important part of the way we live as well, that we don't leave people behind on the outside looking in. But I also wanted to be here, and, and this is not indicative of the fact they'll get any special dispensation or, or consideration from me ever, but it's a sign of my respect for the Daniels Corporation that they have chosen over time to go beyond just being a corporation that does business here. They do that, and they do it very well, but they've chosen to be good corporate citizens and, and to understand that if we're going to build the kind of city that I was talking about and I think we all want to live in, one where we can be truly proud of what it is and how it does respect our Canadian values that corporations, as well as everybody else, have to go beyond just being in business. And I think if you look at what they've done at Regent Park, and if I get a sense of what they're trying to do as one of the partners here, uh, I have a sense they're repeating that same behavior over again, and it's a model for other people to replicate. And I think it's important for the mayor of the city, whoever that might be, 
to go where people do that sort of thing in the business world and say, good on you, you're an example, keep doing it, and hopefully other people will see it as well, because I think it is something that's important to building a great city, is that sense of a soul that they pay some attention to, a lot of attention to in things that they do. And Mitch, I think the words that were said about you earlier on were uh, most appropriate because it starts at the top. And uh, so I just want to say thank you to you and to Daniels. You're not perfect, and you'll be getting a good going over at the City Hall anytime you deserve it. But having said all that, um, this is a good thing. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't delivered a word of what I brought with me because I just said what was in my heart about this. But I want to just say congratulations to everybody involved. I haven't mentioned them all, but I just think I'm, I'm very proud of a city that can produce a project that is going to have all of the people that Tom mentioned involved in it and do all the things it's going to do. We've got to keep doing that over and over and over again. Have places that aren't just for people to live and aren't just for people to study or aren't just for people to work, but are for people to do all of those things in close proximity to one another and that they care about each other because this project has all that right stuff. And I hope that it's as good uh, in the reality as it seems in the concept. And I want to just uh, offer my words of congratulation and say I'm excited about this. It's going to create jobs and it's going to do things that are positive for the city and I'll look forward to coming back and seeing it all happening here uh, not too long from now. Thanks very much.